Hi guys, I am Luis and today we are in a very special place. Today we are in Cabo San Lucas. Hello adventurers, this is Luis, one half of the dynamic duo of Monica and Luis, reporting from the sun-kissed paradise of Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, aboard the splendid Discovery Princess. As I'm soaking up the sun, Monica is preparing for her next journey in South America, ready to sail to North America on the magnificent Sapphire Princess. Today, we are diving into a culinary adventure like no other. First, I'm teaming up with my friend Mark to honor the best cheap eats in Cabo and trust me, these tacos are game changer. Then I'm hitting off the iconic arch, promising sights that you wouldn't want to miss. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a roller coaster of flavors and breathtaking views. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to join us on all of our adventure. Let's go! Right now, I'm in the tender bowl. <laughs> and after 10 minutes of tender bowl ride, we made it to the port. You can see the sea lions right there. <laughs> Look at those beauties right there. They're so loud. <laughs> yeah, this is just right next to the port. Amazing. Okay, since it's always a lot of cruise ships here in the port of Cabo San Lucas, guys, it's always busy and loud. Always. is one of the busiest ports, guys. <laughs> so as you come out of the port, there is a lot of people offering you tours. They have a lot of tours by boat, like they can take you to different beaches on the other side. And especially one of the tours is just to go and see the rocks and see uh, the sea lions. Uh, they're very popular here. And then we have the marina as well, where you have all these boats and yacht. It is a very busy port, guys. Very busy. Right now we're going to eat and then we'll see where we're going. Lots of resorts as well here in Cabo, guys. Like a lot of resorts and they're very famous here in this area. So we're coming to a local restaurant. It's called Los Claros. So let's try it. So I got my horchata. Mark, I'm okay with Mark. Hey, hey some orange juice. So Mark is the one who brought me to this place because he's been here before. He's been here many times, but this is only my second time. The first time I was here it was five years ago, and I just went out like for an hour or something like that. Uh, so I got horchata. Uh, for you guys who doesn't know what, what horchata is, it's a drink uh, invented in Spain to be precise, in Valencia, and it's made of uh, rice. So they make the rice, they mix it until it becomes a powder, and then they mix it with milk, uh, sugar, and cinnamon. It's very nice. Let's try it. It's very good because it's very cold. And it's so creamy. Very nice. Okay guys, so the first order arrived and is massive, the portions here. So check this out, this is the guacamole guys, uh, and this is the ceviche. Like if you see guys, I've never seen a ceviche that big. This is massive. And it's a mixed ceviche with shrimps, octopus, um, fish, everything. It looks amazing. Mark is the one who ordered the ceviche. So good, you have to try this, guys. One of the best. You know what I like from Mexico? When you try the guacamole, it's 
so fresh because it's freshly made. And you can taste the garlic, the lemon, the onion. It's so good, guys. Very, very, oh, very fresh. So nice. And I ordered three tacos. Let's try this. And to let you know, Luis, for signings, you have to go on that side. Get I'm glad that Mark told me that because if, if, if I wouldn't know, then I just wouldn't eat them like that. So let's go and take them that time. Lots of options, I love it. Let's see. Mmm. So good. Okay, so they brought these corn tortillas right here with the ceviche. So I just add some avocado and made something like this. Much better like this. Very crunchy. Lots of texture. Best tacos in Cabo. Guys, if you're here, please make sure you come and try this. We pay only $20 each. That's how cheap it is. Like, I cannot believe it. That was really, really good. So you have all these tours here, but because I'm on my own, <laughs> nobody wants to take me. Uh, well, you need to understand as well. You don't want to take the entire boat for yourself. And this guy, they do this for a living. So I can wait until other people come, which I don't have any problem. But this guy's been very helpful and he's uh, helping me. He tried to convince all the boats to take me. So it's okay for me. And we're ready to go. Uh, we're only three people. So... That's my captain, Capitan Mantarraya. Stingray. <laughs> captain Stingray. <laughs> yeah, so the, the tour takes about 45 minutes, guys. It's only $15, so it's worth it. Let's check it out. And that's the local beach here in Cabo San Lucas. Most of them are locals. Yeah, the boat is rocking. <laughs> so that beach is called El Calzón. And if you ask me what El Calzón means, it's uh, the underwear, the panties. This is the window of the Pacific. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> And here we are guys, setting sail for the sun-kissed beaches of Cabo San Lucas, the southern tip of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. We are on a quest, journeying into one of the most iconic natural marvels in this region, the Arch. As we cruise through the azure waters of the Sea of Cortez, it's hard not to feel a sense of wonder. The sea, also known as the Gulf of California, is a unique stretch of water separating the Baja California Peninsula from the Mexican mainland. But why is it called the Sea of Cortez? Well, it was named in honor of the Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortez. It's crowded with diverse marine life, a testament to this region's raw, untamed beauty. Look up ahead, the arch, or in Spanish, el arco a stunning rock formation that stands as the last significant landmark of Land's End, where the Land's End and the vast ocean begins. Its imposing structure forms natural getaway from the Sea of Cortez to the mighty Pacific Ocean. And let's remember the breathtaking beaches and the coastline, each one with distinct character. You can see the popular Medano Beach with the vibrant energy to the more serene and seducive Lover's Beach. These sandy retreats offer a slice of paradise to every traveler. So, here's the spirit of adventure that brought us to the Sea of Cortez and the sunlight shores of Cabo San Lucas, the incredible beauty to the arch and to the diverse beaches that have won our hearts. It's an amazing experience, a journey to the edge of a country, a voyage to the nature's masterpiece. And this is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed Cabo San Lucas as much as I did. It was a very very nice place, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Let people know about how nice Cabo San Lucas is by sharing with your friends this amazing vlog. This is it for today and ciao for now.